just left San Diego and I'm heading out to New Mexico to meet up with my brother Richard and we're gonna pretty much just wing it and take my truck and just go where the wind blows us. We don't really have any plans, not a lot of money. We're just gonna drive up to Colorado, I think, and figure it out. Russell! How's it going? Good. Great. Are you ready? I'm ready. For super adventure? Uh-huh. Cool, I brought uh, some brownies and roller skates. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So on our way to Albuquerque, we heard about a small mining town, which is now a ghost town. So we're headed there now, and yeah, we're gonna go check it out. This uh, mine goes down a thousand feet. I didn't really believe it. 
but I'm looking down and it's pretty scary. Uh, but you can kind of hear it. It's kind of intense. <laughs> it just like keeps on going and going and going. Just past Santa Fe, and now we're headed to the Puye Indian Cliff Dwellings, which was once home to 1,500 Pueblo Indians. Those little dude, dude, the clouds are crazy. Whoa, wow, dude. Oh my god. Do you know what time it is? Time to <laughs> <laughs> the Driving up the highway north to Colorado, we noticed on the side of the road there was these old destroyed buildings. Um, from the signs, it looked like they were all faded, but you could tell it was an old gas station. There were some gas pumps and uh, an old hamburger stand. And we went inside, everything, there were no doors. The roofs were caved in, there was broken glass everywhere. It was a little bit of an eerie situation. It was just strange and everything had just been left. In the back, there was an old burnout trailer home with a caution tape all around it, and then right beside that, an old burnt up truck. As I was looking out the broken window of the gas station, I saw a bunch of foxes. So, finally got to Colorado. Um, no, it's a cool place to camp some hot springs close by, and I think we're going to go to those in the morning. Oh, oh finally done. Oh, my God. This is our makeshift recording studio. Richard's recording the soundtrack for our little film that we're gonna make. It's working out pretty well. Recording into here, into my iPhone, and then I play my iPhone out through the speakers in the car, and then I just jam to that, and just kind of do a two-track um, jam overdub. But then uh, we record the overdub with the um, camera. So we're headed to the Rockwood train station now to catch the next train to wherever it drops us off. I don't know where it's going to drop us off, but you just let the train driver know that you want the train to stop and you want to hop off and they'll, they'll let you out. Maybe. One, two, three, four. I don't like it, but it's better than nothing. Gonna catch a train, but I don't have the money. Ninety some dollars, and that's just funny.
we're at the Geyser Hot Springs in Colorado now. And it is so windy. Check it out. And so anyways, yeah, it's really cool. We're gonna bring the tent tonight because it looks like it's probably gonna storm. Probably be pretty cool if it does. Kind of excited. Probably get killed, destroyed. Never just find the footage. We'll be all sad California boys in the river bones. <laughs> <laughs> Finally made it to the hot spring and on arrival it looks so amazing it's blue and bubbling and rumbling but you get in it's a cold spring it smells like ass and I'm in it and I just I'm in it because I hiked here and I have my regret I don't know I'm in denial about it I've been in it for like 10 minutes and my balls are like BBs my penis is like a tic tac <laughs> <laughs> so the rain kind of turned into a nice soggy snow. to try another hot spring out. This time we headed east and visited the Rainbow Hot Springs at Wolf Creek. like an onion and if it smells like an onion I probably think it don't be an onion. While hanging out in what we learned was skunk cabbage we saw a dark shadowy figure in the distance and although we only got a short glimpse of it it was pretty scary. We're still not sure what it was. We made it to the hot springs. Amazing. Way better than the geyser springs that's for sure. It's not too hot, but it's nice. You can hang out here for a while. And you can go back and forth to the river. The river is freezing cold. There are uh, icicles hanging from the branches. And it's pretty brutal, but going in and going back into the hot springs.
waterfalls, we found this journal stuffed away into a little crevice right behind the falls. It's a log of people who have been here. Now I'm gonna put a little entry in here. Maybe someone who comes out here will find it and read our entry and see what we had to write. I think we're gonna go in under the waterfall. <laughs> our visit to the waterfalls concluded our adventure, and although our trip had ended, the journey had just begun.